the sky is no longer the limit, obviously. So I think uh, one of the major things that we're trying to showcase here is innovation and technology, and space demands every kind of thinking, right? Every kind of education, math, science, and um, because we're the global leader in space, and we are, you know, we're the first to, to get there, I think that you know, what we're trying to do is attract the millions of people that are gonna be coming here. We expect two to three million visitors at the USA Pavilion to get excited about our programs and come to the United States, go to, uh, go to college in the United States, come and visit the United States. Um, this is a great opportunity for us to advertise, to bring you know, millions of people over the years to, to the States. Okay, so you're expecting two to three million visitors to the U.S. Pavilion. Bob, as I mentioned before, Expo's drawing power has really been called into question given the fact that COVID is still looming large right around the world. At the same time, we have global travel restrictions still in place. Is Expo really going to be able to attract 25 million visits as organizers expect? You know, I think the number was really conservative. You know, we, we uh, had 20 million visitors to St. Louis in 1904, if you can imagine, for the World's Fair in the United States. So I think the 25 million visits was always really conservative. So uh, we're still hopeful and optimistic. People are really ready to get back together right now, uh, both in the States and here. Many of the countries around the world are opening their borders. Many, many countries are doing a great job of getting people vaccinated. And because of the testing protocols and that sort of thing, I think people will feel safe here. I know we feel really safe and confident that we can be safe and healthy at the expo.